Hello, I'm Susan Wagner and welcome to Country Sampler on video. These adorable framed fabric pinwheels were one of the decorating secrets in our January issue and today I'm going to show you step by step how easy it is to make them. Before you begin, you'll need to determine the size of your frame piece and how many pinwheels you'll use because this will dictate the size of your individual pinwheels as well as the size of the frame that you'll need. Our finished frame is about 42 inches by 24 inches and we showcase three pinwheels. As with any project, you'll first gather your materials. You'll need contrasting fabrics, double-sided fusible web, and upholstery tacks for the pinwheels, a thin piece of foam core and muslin for the mat, and an open frame. To create the pinwheels, first determine which fabrics you will use, and then cut a square piece out of each fabric. Our squares were 10 by 10. You will need two squares for each pinwheel, one from each fabric pattern. You'll also need to cut one square of fusible web for each pinwheel that is slightly smaller than the fabric squares. Since we're making three pinwheels, we have a total of six fabric squares and three fusible web squares. Place one fabric square face down on your work surface. Place the fusible web on top of the fabric square and place your other fabric square on top of the fusible web. Since there are different varieties of fusible web, be sure to follow the directions on your product. If need be, hold the pieces in place with straight pins. Using an iron, press down on the fabric squares to fuse the pieces together. And then repeat for the other side. Again, follow your fusible web instructions for the best results. Remove the pins and you now have your back-to-back -back fabric squares for your pinwheels. At this point, you'll want to trim the edges to make clean lines. So working with one fused fabric square, lightly draw a line from one corner to the other. Do the same for the other corners. From the center point, mark a dot about an inch away from the center on each one of the lines. Starting at one corner, cut along the line stopping at your dot. Repeat for the other corners. Fold the right points of each cut corner into the center of the fabric square. And hold them in place with your fingers as you slightly overlap them in the center. Push an upholstery tack through the four folded points in the center to create your pinwheel. To create the mat board, cut your piece of foam core to fit into your frame making it slightly smaller than the actual dimensions to accommodate the muslin. Then you'll also cut a piece of muslin a few inches larger than your foam core, wrap it tightly around the foam core, and tape it in back, like we did here. Fit the muslin covered foam core into your frame, and then secure it in place with the staples in back. Mount your pinwheels to the framed muslin covered mat by simply pushing them in place with the upholstery tack. The tack should hold the pinwheel securely, but if you want a little extra security, you can add a dab of glue to the end of the tack at the back of the mat. There you go, pretty framed pinwheels to hang in your home. For more decorating ideas such as these, see the January issue of Country Sampler, available on newsstands now or by visiting countrysampler.com. And we'll see you next time on Country Sampler on Video.